Hi, I'm Joshua Benowitz. I'm a faculty member at Princeton University. Study of metabolism really uh, occurred early in the history of cancer therapy. It led to the first targeted uh, chemotherapies that produce cures in children with leukemia. Uh, but then for many years, cancer metabolism was kind of a forgotten topic, and it stayed forgotten even as there were diagnostics developed, like FDG PET imaging that helps a lot of cancer patients uh, that are based on metabolism. Uh, then when funding reappeared, we saw a resurgence of interest. Uh, it's already led to, to FDA-approved therapeutics, uh, like the inhibitors of uh, two-hydroxyglutarate production. Uh, at the same time, I think we're just at the tip of the iceberg of what uh, the next generation of targeted metabolism therapeutics can bring. We're going to talk about metabolism of the diversity of key nutrients, so not just carbon, but my co-chair uh, Celeste Simon has also done great work on nitrogen, uh, sulfur metabolism and how it relates to redox control, and how all of this relates to tumor immune response and immunotherapy. Well, my co-chair, Ralph Dubera Dennis, uh, has been very active in starting to apply isotope tracers to really understand how metabolism works in action in human tumors. And so I think you're gonna hear a lot about metabolism in action, not as a static system, but really understanding the activities of the pathways, not in cultured cells, but in tumors in mice and humans. Over the past decade, we've seen a resurgence of interest in cancer metabolism. We saw a lot of the low-hanging fruit in cultured cells be picked but now we're starting to realize that the low-hanging fruit was not enough to give a broad spectrum of new therapeutics for the most hard to treat cancers, but that if we actually dig deeper into the metabolism and especially the in vivo metabolism, there are gonna be opportunities there, especially in combination with immunotherapy and epigenetic modifying agents. We're seeing tremendous progress understanding how nutrients are used by cancer, how this impacts the interaction between cancer and the immune system, and those ultimately will drive new cancer therapeutics and diagnostics and also help drive the success of immunotherapy. It's a great chance to see the state of the field now uh, so that it helps stimulate their thinking to take the breakthroughs that the more senior investigators aren't thinking about yet, at the same time getting to know people who will be you know, reviewing papers and grants. There's always time from research until clinical translation, but we already have metabolic therapeutics on the market. We have therapeutics that came out of work of the co-chairs, like inhibitors of 2-hydroxyglutarate production that are in, uh, approved and being used routinely now to treat cancer. And I think there's the potential to translate those concepts also to treat harder to treat cancers like pancreas cancer and brain cancer.